Sometimes breathing when you're swimming can be a real challenge. So you may be able to get the technical side of the taking the breath, but the actual inhale, exhale just isn't working out. Hi guys, it's Celeste from Triathlon Skills Simple Swims, and I'm here to give you a, a kind of a troubleshooting tip, part six, to my breathing sequence. Okay? So breathing is something that we don't think about until we can't do it. So I'm gonna give you this little tip uh, called bobbing. So if you've taken swim lessons when you were a kid, you might be like, oh yeah, great. But if you've never taken swim lessons, you might not be aware of this. And it's a very simple thing to do, to practice, but it can be really challenging to do at the same time. Okay, so it's real simple. To practice your breathing is to, just above water, practice inhaling and exhaling. Getting a little sip of air and being very aware of it, just And you can be breathing in through your mouth, out through your nose. Or you can be breathing in and out through your mouth. And then taking this same step to the water. So I'm gonna breathe in and out. So exhaling in the water coming up, getting a quick little sip of air, and then blowing up bubbles again, so it'll look like this. And you notice I'm not even putting my eyes in. So you can simply do it by just putting your mouth in to practice. As you get more comfortable with that, then you can start dunking under the water with the same process. So I'm keeping my feet on the floor, bending my knees, submerging my head, blowing out, and then coming up and immediately taking a little sip of air in. So you can practice that about 10 times until you start to get into a rhythm. But when you're swimming, you're going to need to extend that out just a little bit longer. So you could simply practice standing and taking your strokes. Imagine that you're taking your strokes while you're swimming and exhaling and inhaling in the water. So it would look like this. So I'm practice exhaling in the water and turning my head to take a breath. So that's not exactly what you're doing when you're actually taking strokes, but it's getting you a little bit closer to just paying attention to the breath part and not necessarily the technique part of the swim. Okay, but I can add in a little technical tip here. So as my left hand goes in, I'm gonna turn my head and take a breath. So I do wanna time the breathing out and the inhale with the stroke. So it looks like this. So I wanna be breathing out when that left hand goes in and starting to turn my head. I get that sip of air and then I'm putting my face back in. So the amount of time that I have is brief, okay? I'm not needing to rush, but I can get a feeling of how this is gonna work out when I'm actually taking strokes. So one more time. So it's just giving an opportunity to practice the exhaling and the inhaling because it can be kind of challenging to be working on the technical side of breathing when you're doing your strokes, when you're doing my three strokes and three breath elimination drill, okay? And you just wanna work on some breathing exercises. Bobbing can be a great way to help you kind of calm down and settle into it. 
So there's a few tips for you to work on your breathing, the actual breathing part that goes into your freestyle swimming. So I hope you like this video. If you would, hit that like button on there. Make sure you subscribe to get any other tips. All right, ciao for now.